I'm gonna spend four million dollars expanding the Reptarium. I want to spend five dollars on some socks from the thrift store. And this isn't a flex at all, but I want to take a look at why it's gonna cost me so much. Let's start with the reptile section, including my girl Salt here. We all know that Salt and Pepper are getting giant. Gonna have to get giant enclosures. And their enclosure is gonna be absolutely massive, starting here and going all the way out to here. And that enclosure alone might be about $50,000. You might notice that there is a wall in the spot. Gonna talk about that in a little bit. And who doggy is Ivy looking big? I mean, she is absolutely good. With my calculations, we're about two, maybe two and a half months away from potential anaconda babies. And you guys remember that I built this enclosure and all the other enclosures for the Reptarium and the expansion down at Universal Rock. It was a lot of fun and a lot of work. And we're gonna be building a whole bunch more. I figure the Reptarium side of the reptile enclosures and expansion is gonna be somewhere about a half million dollars, which ironically enough is the cheapest part of the entire expansion. And enclosures that I built here at Universal Rocks can literally be sometimes as cheap as five or six thousand dollars or cost as much as fifty thousand dollars like the anaconda case so every enclosure we're building this time is going to be absolutely massive and it's definitely going to be on the high end of that per enclosure we want them to be an absolute stunner each and every enclosure a bunch of our animals are going to need upgrades as well like my boy elvis here of course elvis has a giant enclosure right now but i want him to have a real show stunner much like ivy's enclosure i want it to be big i want there to be waterfalls i want him to be able to swim around because he is an absolutely amazing animal i can't imagine what he's going to do when he has a giant pond to swim in all the time because this guy loves to get into the turtle pond so every enclosure is not only going to have new animals in it some of them are going to have animals that we already have just upgrades it's going to be incredible with all the expansion there's no doubt that the one thing that i've always wanted to add is a venomous aisle of course we have some really beautiful snakes here what are these bruce white lip pit vipers actually but they're uh, the trimesterus autolophorus absolutely incredible of course you can see with these this little guy down here is actually a male and the bigger girl is a female and these are actually sexually dimorphic meaning that the males stay small the females get bigger these are live bearing snakes my buddies down in south africa actually have albinos or as they say albinos of these and they're absolutely wonderful but i wonder with you guys you know should i add a venomous section to the reptarium what do you think bruce absolutely i knew bruce would say that more is not a big fan in the comments let me know if you guys think that we should add a little venomous section what you guys think about it while you're down there hit that like button and subscribe if you don't mind then another animal that i absolutely love to death right here and i'm going to just take this out this is actually the king of all rattlesnakes in north america in my opinion this of course is the largest rattlesnake species in north america eastern diamondback rattlesnake look at that snake right there beautiful color beautiful pattern to that animal and of course this is going to one day get big i mean what's the biggest of the eastern diamondbacks i mean they can get like eight foot right like, oh, man honestly I've, I've heard rumors never seen it before in my life but i've heard rumors of almost getting 10 feet like nine ten feet long. foot long think about that as a rattlesnake heavy body absolutely beautiful i love eastern diamondbacks in the rep it might be a really cool display. There's no doubt about that. A big giant rattlesnake. Again, let me know what you guys think. We're actually meeting with the architects right now, so we're heading off to a meeting. Of course, this is going to be the most expensive part of the entire thing is the actual building itself. So we're getting close to the end on this project. I'm excited to see what these guys have to say. The process of making this expansion has been a long one already. We've been working over six months with the architects, just trying to come up with the design. Now we're actually moving on to the next step, which is the exciting step where we're actually going to be meeting not only with their architects, but also with our general contractor, then we can start getting into the nitty gritty part of what this build is gonna actually cost, which I'm not excited about hearing that number. The meeting went absolutely incredible, but they did raise a few issues that I am a bit concerned about. So back to the Reptarium. And those issues are actually about support. We know putting an aquarium upstairs is gonna be difficult because we're gonna need a lot of support, which means that we actually have to run footings and then beams from the basement all the way up into the top here. The downside is, is that they have to go behind this enclosure and if you Behind this enclosure here which means that we're gonna have to rip these things off we're gonna have to pull these enclosures out and we're gonna have to put the beams all the way up and then put them back in it's definitely not something I wanted to hear it's gonna be a bummer it's gonna be a lot of work but in the end we have to do what we have to do to make sure it's structurally able to hold all the weight of the aquarium trust me when we're doing the expansion there is gonna be a ton of unboxing and if you guys remember when I unboxed like that $30,000 with the snakes recently if you didn't see it oh uh, here's a card right here definitely take a look at that video well this is actually another 
another one of those. What basically happened is I got 10 of them, but there was one animal that just wasn't quite eating really well. So he was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to it, get it feeding, and then I'll send it to you. Well, it's starting to eating and he sent it and I'm excited because these guys are beautiful. Of course, they are what they call dreamsicle pies. So they're lavender and they're pie recessive mutations together. And I'm telling you what, they are some stunning snakes. The ones I got about a month ago, oh my gosh, by the way, I never put them up for sale. I decided to keep them all. I should probably sell one or two to be honest with you, but I haven't put them up on the website trying to hide them from Lori. So don't tell Lori whatever you do. This is the other dreamsicle. Wow, this one's cool. It's got a lot of pattern to it. Just a little bit of white in the back makes it really cool. Again, all this white in this pattern is going to turn purple when it gets older. It's going to be an absolute ripper. As we're expanding, can you imagine the hundreds and hundreds of boxes of fish we're going to be opening? Maybe thousands of boxes of fish, not to mention the dozens of boxes of reptiles. It's going to be amazing. Let me know if you guys love unboxing as much as I do. So that basically wraps up the reptile section as far as the expansion there. Let's move on to what's going to be really the biggest expense. And that has to do with what I'm holding in my hands right now, which are the blueprints to the building. And it's going to look like this in the front and like this in the back. So yes, the building is going to be expensive. Met with the general contractors today and they walked through the building and kind of gave me a general idea how much it's going to cost. I don't even want to tell you guys. Come on, Mr. Brian. Tell us. Yeah, it's going to be about $2.5 million just for the build out. That's a whole lot of ice cream. There goes my inheritance. And this is where I need your imagination. Remember when we built the first Reptarium and I said I needed your imagination? You guys get the idea of the space that we have. Obviously, the walls need to be kind of redone a little bit. This needs to still get out of here. What do you think, Larry? And then when we built the second Reptarium, I said the same thing. Walked into what was a tattoo parlor and I said, I need your imagination. Guys, here it is. So guess what? Now I need it. I need it. So basically what's going to happen is this wall here is coming down, right? Boom, boom, that's gone. This out here, this wall here is coming down. And this is going all the way out right to the edge right here. That's where the wall is going to be. So when you look at the Reptarium, this is going to be a wall of glass right here. This is going to be a very serious wall. Up front here is actually going to be a pond that goes all the way from here, all the way to this side with a half wall that is dividing the sidewalk. That's the way the outside is going to look. going to look absolutely incredible, but definitely going to be a lot of work. So to put that in perspective, when you're actually in the Reptarium, this is no longer going to be the only thing you're going to see. You're going to be able to see all the way into the other side of the building, and you're going to be able to walk through there. So we're going to be actually adding a third of the space of the Reptarium on that side, and then we're going to be actually adding about another third of the space on the front side, which is basically doubling the square footage of the Reptarium. Then we have the entire top floor that goes on. So doubling all of the square footage of the Reptarium, we're going to then double that again to have the upstairs completely. Now it's going to be 14 foot high on one side and about 25 foot high on the other side. So it's going to slant up to look absolutely incredible. And that's just the building part. Now we have to get into the aquariums. And to get an idea a little bit more about aquariums, I'm heading over to my good friend Steve Bashy over at Bashy Aquatics. When you're looking for aquarium answers, you always go to a place that has a 20 foot shark on it. So what the heck is this, Steve? That is a huge twisted protein skimmer. What does that do? That removes nutrients from, from water, basically a saltwater purifier. As you can see, I really know a lot about this stuff. And you know that giant skimmer? They actually need two sumps this size, just to give you an idea how much space it needs for filtration. Steve has so much stuff here, like this pump, and this thing, a hanging kit, I have no idea what it is. I think this is a space gun, bulkheads, and more bulkheads, all kinds of crazy fittings. This one's awesome. I can actually turn the knob. Obviously, you gotta get swole if you work with acrylic. There's gotta be a use for this. I have no idea what it is. Some more of these. That's fitting. Bunch of skimmers. A media chamber, apparently. I don't know. Are these brass knuckles? I saw these at a ramen place once. Steve has a problem with a lot of glue. More drum sets that any one person needs. CNC laser. And you get the point. Steve is definitely the guy that's gonna help me make this aquarium happen. I, I'd love to get your take on it, but I don't like this idea, to be honest with you. I've known Steve Bashy since I was 15 years old. When you say hang out at the pet shop I used to work at. And the thing is, is he's always had an amazing eye for detail and he loves things to look absolutely perfect. That's the reason why it's so important for me to have him involved in this project project because I know with him designing things this is going to be absolutely incredible. Why are you about to faint? I have no idea what you're talking about now. I literally don't. <laughs> I literally like, he, does, he looks flawed. <laughs> All right, Steve. So this is the deal. I have one million dollars. Is to it start, enough? To start, right? Is it enough? Do you want me to lie to you or do you want me to tell you the truth? How much 
more than a million dollars do I need? Probably t 10, 15 dollars more than that. Wait, I could swing that. I don't know, I can't tell you, man. It's, there's a lot, of, a lot going on here. It would be 10 million, give or take. <laughs> Anywhere between one and 10. I don't wanna yeah. cry now. I'm spending all of my money on animals because that's what matters to me. I'm not going out and buying things for me. What I'm doing is expanding my business in the sense that I can educate and get people excited about the animals. Trust me, when it comes to an investment, this probably isn't the smartest things I've ever done. But hey, this is what I'm doing because this is my dream and I wanna make a place that's gonna be absolutely incredible for people to come from all over the world. And then of course there's the dig site, which is the dungeon right now. These snakes have to move into a new facility so this entire basement is done. But this wall up here, that green wall right there, that actually gets pushed back another 16 foot. So this space is even bigger. Again, this is gonna be like an archeological dig site, right? So you can come down, you can search for fossils. There'll be areas for you to dig in. There'll be actually places where you can sit for gold. I wanted to be a paleontologist when I was a kid, so I'm building this for me. I may just keep it for me. I may not even be open to the public. I'm not sure, but it is gonna cost a bunch of money because we're gonna have to dig that whole thing out here, rip all this stuff out, new heating and cooling, plumbing. We're gonna have to trench the floors. It's gonna be a lot. I don't know. This room alone is gonna probably be somewhere about fifty to $100,000, but it's gonna be so cool. Obviously, this is a dream come true, guys. I'm trying to build the place I've been dreaming about my entire life, and I know it's gonna happen. When is it gonna happen? The answer to not sure what the answer is. Probably hoping for this fall to actually start the construction. Probably gonna take about a year to get completely done, maybe even a little bit longer with the aquarium side, but hey, we're gonna continue to work on it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.